Hello, it's uh, me, Ark. I'm um, just going, uh, just another bicycle um, parts clip or bicycle, um, just like little bits. Yeah, hang on, let me turn the he heater off. Um, just going, uh, just another uh, bike part thing. Um, it's my indicators. And just wanted to do a, a little quick review. These ones are, they don't, I don't think they have any batteries. Actually, they do, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, these are the bicycle indicators. I've got, these are the broken ones. Um, I ordered these from SJS Cycles. And they sent me these ones, and the right one here doesn't work properly. That one's supposed to light up. However, SJS Cycles, they did send me one, a new one straight away the next day. So I'm just going to go through a basic review or just a little summary of these. Um, pretty much you, to, to, they're wireless. They're completely wireless. So I don't, I'm assuming there's like a, obviously there's going to be like an antenna inside it connecting each other. But yeah, you get one that goes there and you get one that goes there. And you push this, there's like an orange button here. It's like an orangey red. Um, I don't know. I think it's actually more. I must say more for red, if I'm honest. But yeah, you got that one there as well. So that one does the right indicator. That one does the left indicator. So if I push this one, you get a signal here that lets you know when that you can that your indicator is on, just in case you can't see the front there. And that automatically turns that on. And I'll show you here. So if I click that, that turns off. If I click that again, it turns on. And this one does the same. This is that this front bit is broken, so I've got a new set on my bike at the moment. And the new set does work, but uh, it's on my bike, so I'm just showing the spare set at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but if I push that one, normally this one would light up. And on the new set, it lights up because it works. And then it turned on there. So yeah, I mean, the, it, it's pretty good. Um, let's see how bright it is. Pretty, I think it's pretty, it's pretty bright, if I'm honest. Excuse the uh, lens. The lens needs cleaning. That's what happens when you get bright light shining in your face. <laughs> you need clean lenses. Should have gone spec saver, shouldn't I? <laughs> Lols. Um, but yeah, those are the indicators. I'd say I get a pretty good reaction from them. I've had some comments in the past saying that they're pretty good. People, a lot of cyclists, they say that they like them as well. Um, we've even had a few motorbikers comment on them, saying that they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are they are pretty good. I mean, the the only, uh, there are some downfalls. Um, hence the the covering for it. There are some gaps underneath. There's like these little holes here and here and water seems to seep through them and usually I've had two sets within eight years I've used two sets in eight years so I'd say they last for about they probably got like a four year lifespan but water it's I'd say if it wasn't for water damage from rain it would probably last maybe double that amount um, it's just solely because so it's just because of the holes underneath. There's like little holes in them, and I think it'd be good if I can cover them up. There's also gaps in between the buttons, and if I peel back the button, there is you could see all the electronics just behind the button. So if water seeps through here or on the other side, it will just go right straight to the electronics. So yeah, I do think water is a bit of an issue with these lights. However, they are. But however, take away the fact that they are not very waterproof. They are pretty good on the road. They're pretty good on the bikes. Um, the batteries, full using them for a whole week, I'd say they would. I, th I think yeah, sorry. I'd say on a fresh pair of batteries, they would probably last up to a week, maybe two weeks, depending how much you need to go out with them and how much you turn on that one and that one. You can just, if I switch those off, that is the button to turn the main one on, and you got one on the back here. So if I turn that, and it flashes a few times, that flashes a few times. Now that is on. That's if you want to use your indicators in the daytime, and you don't want the brake light or the front light on. 
which is pretty good. Uh, it saves battery on, it saves on battery power. It does occasionally flash just to alert you that it is on. After I don't know, I think it's like every thirty seconds or maybe sixty seconds. Not sure. Not too sure. But uh, I get a pretty good reaction. I'd probably say I get an average of like a seventy percent good reaction from motorists um, and other cyclists. They seem to easy. Uh, they seem to know where I'm gonna go a little bit better um, because sometimes it is hot because I do still use my hand in like the daylight, but at night time it's pretty good. And in busy conditions or if the road's really bumpy, it is quite good if you can't use your hand hand signals to use these. And you pretty you get a pretty good reaction from people on the road. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a I got a cold, so <clears throat> hopefully I'll live. <laughs> uh, I hope so. I want to go out riding again. So yeah, these are the bicycle indicators. I will show you a couple of the clips coming up in a minute on this video. And just to show you some other little bits and bobs of these lights. And I hope you like. If you have any questions, please ask or in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video clips. Um, this is from ARC, um, until later on, uh, I should say bye for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you like the light. Righty, ta-da! Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about my uh, bicycle light setup. Um, here I got three headlamps on the front of my bike. As you can see here, one faces the floor and lights up. I'll usually use this one to flash because it reflects off the bike. I've also got a one that shines upwards um, into the air, just for say, like say if you're going into a tunnel or to light up some high-rise road signs, or if um, you want to make sure trucks and buses see a bit better, then it shines upwards because taller vehicles might not see the headlamp facing straight on. But I also have this third headlamp is the one that faces straight on, which are the indicators. The bike lights at the back, I got one on the helmet which lights up, which you can't see in the video. But here I got an SRL2. On the very far back I use the tail light for my uh, bicycle rack. It's the one of the brightest bicycle lights you can buy for about 14 pounds. It's uh, You can see it for about just over a mile apparently, they say. So it is really bright as you saw in that video just a few seconds ago. Those are my indicators flashing there. Um, that's my center light at the back of my seat, and uh, the indicators flashing. I can uh, go. It'll, it's wireless. It's uh, called by signals, and pretty much you just you just got two front buttons on the uh, front light that will work the rear one without any wires or bu uh, buttons to press on the back one. So if I press the right button on the front one. As I do there, it will turn on the back one, and you can see how bright it is there as it flat. You can see the reflection of the light on the wall. It's pretty useful. Get some good reactions from drivers from it. I'd say I get about a 70% reaction, um, a good 70% uh, good reaction from drivers, and the 30 about maybe a 30% which don't t uh, take into account because um, the, not a lot of cyclists use indicators, obviously. Um, very good to make, um, but that's my bicycle light setup. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Hope you enjoy the video, and I look forward to see. Uh, I look forward to your views in the next video. Till then, bye for now. My indicators. Um, I got them off eBay. They used to sell them at the store, but they don't sell them anymore. So, no, it's pretty good. They are. Um, pretty much, I just pressed the button. So, you got a button on this side. So, that one turns on that one. And I also got a button on this side, which turns on this one. 
Uh, about 20 to 40 pounds. You're welcome. They're called bi-signals. Bi-signals. <laughs> You're welcome.